My next guests are here to perform their song, The Incredible History of Bones, which is not on their latest release, Queen of All Ears. Please welcome John Lurie and the Lounge Lizards. With uh, John Lurie, thank you very much. You guys sounded fantastic. Thank you for having us. Thank yeah, it was not. You know what? I, I've caught uh, you. John does a TV show on the Bravo Network mm -hmm. called Fishing with John. Yes. And this is the strangest concept for a show I may have heard of. It's you go out with a celebrity and you just go fishing. Yeah. And it's a different celebrity each time. And what I've always thought whenever I watch it is the incredible bravery because. You know, six times out of ten that you go fishing, you don't catch anything. 
Uh, but you go out there. You always manage to catch something, but aren't you ever afraid? If you go out with a celebrity, you don't catch anything. Well, you know, actually, the better shows are the ones where we didn't catch anything. And But when we first started and we did the one with Tom Waits, Tom got seasick, and we had to move the whole thing into very, very shallow water where there was no chance of catching anything. And um, we actually bought these fish from this guy. <laughs> You yeah, bastard. Were, but, but, but apparently, I like, saw that show and I was like, yeah, they caught a fish. And then I realized it had one of those supermarket little dike. No, but it was it. alive, but you could just, you kind of had this. <laughs> but apparently, the, a lot of these fishing shows that you see, they have like 18 guys the day before catching fish and keeping them alive so that, you know, that I believe this to be true. You see, you're casting aspersions on all fishing shows. No, I'm telling you how it's, <laughs> how it's done. Okay, okay. Mm. Uh, the people you've had, Tom Waits, uh, Matt Dillon, Dennis Hopper, are these all friends of yours? Um, some of them became not my friends after doing the show, actually. They didn't like doing the fishing show? Well, Tom was really angry with me after when he got, when he got seasick, and he, yeah, so that was kind of... Awesome. That ended that. Yeah. What about, uh, like, your dream guest? Who's the one person that you, you, if you could have someone on the fishing show, maybe even if it's a long shot, who's the dream guest? J.D. Salinger. <laughs> but I, the, po the poet who's not been seen in public for 45 years. <laughs> poet, author, yeah. But I, what we're thinking about doing is just taking any, you know, 70-year-old guy and, <laughs> and, 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 and saying that it indeed is finally J.D. Salinger. <laughs> no one's going to know. That's a great idea. And then you're buying the fish anyway, so why not? <laughs> It's well, all a lie. Not always, always, but but then Castro might be. It's also might be a possibility, which would be really. You get Fidel Castro. I, I was interviewed recently by this this Swiss journalist who had just interviewed Castro and said he was a big fisherman. He was kind of looking for a way to sort of, you know. And so I thought, you know, I could. And you know that Castro tried out. I think if this might not be true, Castro I think tried out for the Yankees a long, long. I heard that in the fifties he tried yes, out. Yes. Yeah. That's a true story. He was a, he was a ball player in Cuba, and he tried out back then. Yes, and so I was going that, you know, my first question for him would be, um, if you hadn't been able to hit a curveball, would JFK still be alive, would be my first question. <laughs> well, on that happy note, what a terrific show we've had. I do want to thank all my guests. Uh, the, the album is Queen of All Ears, conspiracy theorist John Lurie, and, uh, of course, the lounge listeners. Thank you for being <laughs> thank here. Thank you for having me. The hell? I want to thank Ben Foster for being here. Thank you, Ben. I thanks to Mr. Kevin Pollack. Of course, we have the Max Weinberg 7 and Max Weinberg backing us up all the way. Stay tuned for later. We'll see you tomorrow.